Hi students, welcome back. Uh, so far we have seen uh, about the derivations and the derivation tree. That is the derivation tree means the path tree. Uh, if any string is there, how you are going to derive that string by using the leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation and uh, that derivation, after derivation you are going to construct a der derivation tree. That is a path tree. Now let's see what is this ambiguity in grammar. Which grammar you can say that uh, grammar can, uh, ha is having ambiguous means it is an ambiguity grammar or it is not an ambigu ambiguous grammar. How can you say? Okay. So a grammar is said to be ambiguous when you can say it is an ambiguous if there exists more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation or more than one parse tree for given input string that means ambiguous when there is one or when uh, when there are more number of one uh, the way that you can express means if you take the leftmost derivation the leftmost derivation can be solved in different uh, by using different or uh, techno methods okay means you get the same output but the way that you are doing is different means the presentation is a different so, a grammar is said to be ambiguous if there exists more than one leftmost derivation, more than one rightmost derivation or even more than one parse tree for a given input string. So, if the grammar is, suppose it is not ambiguous, then you can say it is an un unambiguous grammar. Means, whatever the input string that you are given, it can generate only one leftmost derivation, only one rightmost derivation or even only one type of parse tree. That type of grammar you can call it as an un unambiguous. But, a grammar with more than all these things leftmost rightmost and the parse tree uh, for a given input string that grammar is ambiguous grammar Re remember that if the grammar has an ambiguity okay suppose okay you thought that uh, what happened okay if it uh, produce more input more output means it is okay in the best we can take that we can choose best but here if the grammar has ambiguity then it is not good for the compiler construction. So, for the compiler construction, we need a correct exact pattern and we need uh, the single way. But here, if the grammar, whatever we are giving has ambiguity, then the compiler will, it is difficult to construct the compiler. So, it is not good for the compiler construction because it is not able to uh, justify which type of pattern is correct. No method can automatically detect and remove the ambiguity. Okay. So, there is no method that can automatically detect and remove the ambiguity. But, we can remove ambiguity by rewriting the whole grammar without ambiguity. So, that is the main, so, uh, that is the only solution that we can remove the ambiguity. Okay. So, there is no automatic detection for, uh, to for remove the ambiguity. The only solution is we can remove ambiguity by rewriting okay what you are going to rewrite the whole grammar without ambiguity whatever the production rules they are given okay whatever the uh, grammar it is there so that you can be rewrite so that the ambiguity can be removed let me take one simple example to explain this ambiguity uh, which grammar you can say uh, that grammar is having the ambiguity so see here in this example let us consider a grammar with the production rules so these are the different production rules e determines in the uh, e can be substituted with i e plus e e star e e within parenthesis and it should be epsilon 0 1 2 up to 9 okay so this is a grammar a grammar consists of vt ps we know that it's a context free grammar v is a set of non terminals what are the set of non terminals here i and e are set of non terminals and what are the terminals? The terminals are plus into brackets epsilon 0, 1, 2 up to 9. Okay. And P is, these are all the production rules. And S is a start symbol. E is a start symbol. Okay. Now we need to check the grammar, whatever they are given is having ambiguous or not. It is having ambiguity or not. Ambiguity means is this grammar is producing more than one parse tree or not? Is this grammar is producing, uh, is give, uh, giving more than uh, one leftmost derivations, more than one rightmost derivations? Okay, let's check. Let's take any string. 
but that string should be based on these production rules for the string 3 star into 2 plus 5 you'll get it out ma'am how can i know uh, only these type of uh, uh, strings I need to take okay so the string that should uh, derive from the production rule that string you need to be take okay the 3 star 2 plus i is obviously derived from this uh, by using this production rule either in leftmost or rightmost how can I say because it's a star e star is the production is there plus here the terminals what are the terminals that are there star is there plus is there and these are all 3, 2, 5 or all the identifiers uh, terminals. So, that can be derived by using these production rules. So, let's check here. We are talking about the ambiguity. For the string, whatever they are given, the above grammar can generate two parse trees by leftmost derivation. Suppose if I go for the leftmost derivation, if you want, you can go for the rightmost also. Suppose if I go for the leftmost derivation, I can say this grammar will produce two parse trees. How? Let's check here. So, E is a start symbol. In the place of, I want to derive this string. So, E star E, leftmost derivation. The E can be substituted with I. So, I can be substituted with 3. Because I can be replaced with 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. So, I is replaced with the 3. So, star, it's already terminal. Next, the rightmost one e this again substituted with e plus e because we want to uh, derive this string so in place of e the i is substituted i is again replaced with the terminal 2 and this is also i is replaced with terminal 5 now e star 2 plus 5 we get okay so this is a way of constructing the one type of uh, leftmost derivation means the parse tree this is one parse tree so, this uh, string I can represent it in another way also. Instead of taking E star E, I am taking E plus E. In the, okay. So, I am taking E plus E. So, here in the leftmost derivation, again E, I am taking E into A because this is the leftmost derivation. So, you have to concentrate it only on the left first. Okay. Instead of writing I here, I am again substituting in place of E, E star E. Because I want to uh, derive this string. So, in place of E, I is substituted 3. So, 3 into 2 plus 5. The same. 3 into 2 plus 5. 3 into 2 plus 5. Okay. We are getting the same string. But it is represented in two ways. Okay. Since there are two parse trees for a single string. This is a single string. Since there are two parse trees for a single string, the grammar is ambiguous. I hope you understand what is an ambiguous grammar. If there are more than uh, one parse tree that is going to be generated by the given grammar, then that grammar is an ambiguous. Thank you.